Being online means that we don't have an equal access to education. We have not had one COVID-19 outbreak. Everyone else is allowed to go back to school right now. Blind, low vision and deafblind students from W. Ross McDonald School are pleading with the province to let them return to school like millions of others. I'm not able to work on the life skills that I need to uh, improve on. The students have been told residence is closed at the school that is known for its modern state-of-the-art accommodations. It doesn't matter if you're visually impaired, low vision, partially sighted, blind, deafblind, it doesn't matter that we learn in a hands-on environment. The school is one of a half dozen provincial and demonstration schools that shut down lodging, turning to remote learning. The recommendation was that if we cannot achieve isolation within an immediate time frame if a child was symptomatic to go home, it could have an impact and potential uh, risk for these kids. A petition by a deaf high school teacher is urging Ontario to reopen student lodging because closing is impacting the most vulnerable students. This accessibility advocate says blind students are treated like second-class citizens in Ontario's education system. It's because of a systemic, decades-long failure by the provincial government and the Ministry of Education to provide the kind of leadership and oversight that they provide for other students around the province. We asked the education minister to respond. There's nothing more important than providing in-class learning for kids with exceptionalities. Uh, having said that, we obviously are determined to make sure they're safe. For 18-year-old Jade Ondrick, every day she can't immerse herself in school is a day valuable life skills are lost. For us, it's a lot more hands-on and just not being able to have that aspect is very hard. Karen Lieberman, Global News.